Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create bar charts in OpenOffice Calc. So in the last tutorial, we downloaded OpenOffice and uh, we showed you how to install the software itself on my computer. So we've got all of the OpenOffice applications here. We're going to open up OpenOffice Calc and we're going to put some data in here and then create a bar chart using that data. So typically a bar chart will contain, you know, various types of information it's entirely your choice what sort of information you put into here but from in my example i'm just going to do something quite simple so i'm going to type in the word jan for january and then we're going to do a series fill so we can just drag all the way down just by left clicking um in this bottom corner here right right in here this is a little black dot if you left click it and drag down we can drag down 12 months and now we've got all of the months of the year this is called series filling and let's just click here insert a new row so i'm just going to right click on the number one insert a new row and just put in months here just type months and next to that i'm going to put in cost right so we're going to have some sort of cost information in here so i'm going to click on the column b right click on it go to our format cells and i'm going to set it to currency and it's going to be british pounds yours might be dollars we're going to click on this number one press Control and b to make them bold and we can put in some values here so these might be values for costs that we spent in our business or our personal expenditure could be your fuel cost could be anything right so i'm just going to put in some numbers in here like 100 pound 120 140 just some random numbers and these numbers might represent my electric and gas bill for example or some of my utility bills or my internet costs and phone bills and stuff like this so these might fluctuate throughout the year depending on when i'm busy maybe in the summer months i'm quite busy and then towards the end of the year these bills start to reduce because uh, i'm not so busy right in december i'm not doing so much so we can go ahead select all of the data in the spreadsheet so i'm going to left click on the month hold down my left mouse button and then just let's just do that again left click on month hold down the left mouse button drag and select all of the cells that you want to create the chart from now that they've been selected we can click on this icon here chart and all of a sudden you're going to see a nice chart pop up it's going to give you the graph it's going to tell you what the cost is so this graph represents the cost and the first column contains the dates and the second column contains the data so here we can see the costs down the side and the months down the bottom in this little option down here you've got a few different other types of charts so you can click on bar and it'll go across like this and this is what we want we want a bar chart right and we can create other types of data as well we can create other types of charts we're going to go through a few different examples um, throughout subsequent tutorials but for now we just want to create something nice and simple this is representing maybe cost in our business or something like this and um, we can then send this chart to someone else and try and reduce our expenditure and try and get this but more towards the left rather than the right so let's go ahead and click um, next and then this is really what the data this is this is representing what data it's capturing uh, but we've already selected it so we don't need to tell um, the data range in here we don't need to specify it because we've already pre-selected it before we created the chart so you can kind of ignore all of this stuff in here you don't really need to um, uh, show that information in here um, in here it says the first row is the label which is correct this first row is going to be the label um, and the first column as a label as well so months here you can see um, we're going to take these data here this is going to be our labels here and across the top we've got our months and cost so we can actually add um, let's just see chart elements we can put a title and we can put a subtitle and we can put a title for the x and the y-axis so the y-axis is going to go across the bottom so if we type in cost here and then we can see cost here and then if we type in month here uh, let's type in correctly month here we can see the month written here uh, and then if we type in the title um, let's say yearly cost at the top then we'll get a title coming across the top here so now we've got the the labels written as to what these elements represent um and the, the legend you can just turn that off if you don't want to show that that's just a little dot on the side to say cost but we don't really need that because we've only got one type of data in this in this particular bar chart we click finish then we can drag our chart we can actually left click outside of it then we can click on it and drag it uh, to the side 
like this let's say we drag it over here and we can save this spreadsheet and email it to someone and someone might up update the figures for example so you can see october is set, set as 10 pound and that might be an error because it's very very low and it might have been a hundred pounds 100 so someone can correct that and then this this chart will correct itself automatically based on the data that you're inputting you can actually click on the chart and drag it out to make it a bit bigger to make it more legible it's up to you how you how you do that yeah so now it's a bit easier to see um, it's nice and big and if you resize it correctly you can actually print it as well so be a bit careful how you resize it if you want to print but try not to print we're trying to save our, our environment so less printing and more digital documents is going to be better okay so let's go ahead and save our work so far let's go to file save as and we'll just save this to my computer so that we've got a copy for our next tutorial so let's just call this bar chart dash zero one and we can save this and then we can close it and on my desktop i've got this folder and now i've got the chart in here and i can just go and email that to someone maybe a colleague maybe it's my own personal expenses i want to email it to my accountant or whatever it is we've got all the data inside this spreadsheet and then we can just right click on it we can open it with and then we've got different options so you can open it with excel LibreOffice, and open office calc you can open it with all three of these applications let's just test it out with excel so this is excel let's see how it produces so you can see it creates the same chart exactly what we just created in open office and if we right click on it and open it with LibreOffice, we can see the same chart in LibreOffice here just just like we see in open office and we can just right click on it one more time open with open office and we can open it in here as well so this chart or this uh, content this spreadsheet is multi-format compatible it's compatible across all three of those systems and probably many more as well so let's go ahead and close down this window that's how you go about creating a simple bar chart in open office calc hopefully you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial